Question 8 says multiply. Okay. Multiply. Multiply what? Um, it's, it's over here. It asks us to multiply um, x minus 4 squared. So that's a little problematic for us. Um, and I don't want to talk about wrong answers that I saw. I just want to talk about you know what this means big picture. Um, if I have the number 5 and I square it, I understand that is a 5 times a 5, right? I'm multiplying something by itself. So when I look at this x minus 4 and I'm squaring it, what this means is I'm multiplying x minus 4 times another x minus 4. And you can see here I've got two binomials. They're identical, they're both x minus 4, but until you um, are really rock solid and you understand what happens when you're multiplying a pair of binomials, please use a generic area model to prevent um, you know, the goofy mistake that I saw. And I'll, I guess I will talk about that in a bit. But what I'm doing here is I'm multiplying x and a minus 4 times an x and a minus 4. When you multiply a binomial times a binomial, right, it's something with two different parts, right? These are two different terms that are separated by subtraction in this case you get four separate parts to that product. A couple of the parts, well, oftentimes parts will collapse together as like terms, and in this problem that's the case also, but, but do realize you start with these four distinct parts. The first part that we see is the x squared, that's this x times this x. The next thing that we see is um, negative 4x, and that's what I get when I multiply this negative 4 times this x. Um, and also, I would get a another negative 4x, and that's what I get when I multiply this x times this negative 4. And then the last thing that I get, and I should write down, is a positive 16, and that's the product of negative 4 times negative 4. So when I look at these four parts and I write them out, you can see I've got an x squared minus 4x minus 4x and plus 16. Well, these are like terms, and I can combine those. So my answer should end up as x squared minus 8x, and then plus 16. Again, what we did was we combined the like terms. Negative 4x and negative 4x is negative 8x. So where did we go wrong? Well, I think what happened is some of you looked at this, and you assumed this was like x times 4 quantity squared, perhaps. I'm not exactly sure. Um, if I had x times 4 quantity squared, I realize that that's an x times a 4 times an x times a 4, which looks like x squared times 16, or maybe 16x squared. I don't know. The point is that this is subtraction. This is a binomial. This is just a monomial that's getting squared. When you square a binomial, right, there's those four distinct parts. So um, think about that. Think about what it means to square polynomials doesn't have to be a binomial, it could be a trinomial, but think about what it means to square something and then please invest in a generic area model until you're really making some keen observations and you know what's going on. Uh, just in case you didn't catch it, this, this is my final answer. <laughs>